Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Jazbees 4 box quick hit 2021 Prism Football Mixer Random Division Break number one featuring a first off the line box. We got a first off the line box, two blaster boxes, and uh, we noted this in the description. It's a unsee. It, they didn't shrink wrap this Prism Cello box, but obviously all of the Cello packs are shrink wrapped. So there you go. Big thanks to this group who got into the action. Andrew, Fred, and Mike, appreciate it. There are the divisions right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize names and divisions, four and a six, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10 times, Fred down to Fred. Four and a six, ten times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we got the AFC East down to the NFC West. Now we will pause the video and allow for a, a little, uh, little trade time. So feel free to trade away. So Fred's got a lot of divisions here. Let's highlight Fred first. So Fred, you have the AFC East, NFC South, AFC West, NFC North, NFC West. Mike, you have the AFC North and the South, AFC North and South, and Andrew with the NFC East. Let's order these alphabetically. And we're gonna pause the video. We're going to see if there's any trades, and uh, we're going to pause the video for a trade window. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so that list remains the same here on Thursday the 30th, the last day of the month. Uh, today's my Friday. Uh, so I hope everyone – and I, I don't think I'll be back until – uh, let's do this first. Uh, I'm taking a, a bit of time off, just a couple days, but I'll be back after the 4th of July. I'll be back on Wednesday? 4th is on Monday this year, right? But anyhow, if I don't see you, yeah, I should be back on Wednesday the 6th. So my usual weekend, and then the, we have the holiday, and then I wrap a couple extra days around that, so ended up with a nice long weekend. It's rare that the uh, it's rare that the Fourth of July holiday lands on nicely on a Monday. So did I minimize all my windows. Um, so I'm taking advantage of it this year. But enjoy your Fourth of July holiday. And enjoy celebrating America's independence. Do not blow your fingers off, please. Be careful with those fireworks. All right, thanks, Addison, for checking in. We'll see you. We'll see you around the shop. Now, there's not too much football news happening, right? But basketball free agency is the sporting news of the day, so we can chit-chat about that a little bit. Rockets re-signed Jayshon Tate to a three-year deal. Bucks agreed to deals with Joe Ingles, Wesley Matthews, Javon Carter. Clippers bring to bring back Nikola Batum on a two-year deal, Nuggets to re-sign or to sign DeAndre Jordan, Raptors, Thaddeus Young agreed to two-year contract, Sixers to sign P.J. Tucker, uh, Daniel House, Trevlin Queen, Malik Monk, I knew that he was going to get a deal, Malik Monk signs a two-year deal with the Mad, uh, with the Kings, that is, Sacramento, I was hoping the Lakers would convince, try to keep him, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, Mobamba returns to the Magic on a two-year deal. Nets acquiring Royce O'Neal from the Jazz Heat to re-sign Victor Oladipo and Dwayne Dedman. What else? My Lakers, what are they doing? They got, they got Lonnie Walker, the fourth. Um, which I think is... Yeah. Damian Jones, Troy Brown Jr. also added to the Lakers for some depth. 
I don't think the Lakers are going to be making too many splashy moves anyway. But yeah, Anthony was saying maybe Lonnie Walker basically takes takes that. Uh, I actually kind of like Lonnie Walker, but Lonnie Walker assumes that Malik Monk sort of role. You know, the Lakers did miss Kendrick Nunn for an entire year. I'm sure that'll be a big boost to their sort of thin roster. That'd be nice to see a healthy Kendrick Nunn. And Lakers actually, believe it or not, have done pretty well with with undrafted player free agents and second round guys. Talon Horton Tucker was a second round guy. He had a down year last year, but maybe maybe this year is the up year for him. Austin Reeves was an undrafted free agent and ended up being a pretty solid contributor. He played meaningful minutes last uh, all throughout last year. So if those guys take an extra step forward, at least the Lakers season could be less frustrating than it was last year. I don't know how far they can go. That depends on Anthony Davis's health. But hopefully they'll be just at least less frustrating, a little more consistent, a little more competitive. Really like the coach, Darvin Ham. Um, so just kind of a, a new voice, a fresh voice in the locker room might also, also help as well. What else is going on in the league? Uh, Pistons to re-sign Marvin Bagley III on a three-year deal. Looks like they're working on a buyout with Kemba Walker as well, Detroit. Any other any other deals that are that are happening that I that I'm missing that we're missing? Knicks to re-sign Nick Claxton and Patty Mills. You know, obviously Kevin Durant requesting a trade is the big news that probably disrupted all of everyone's free agent plans. Everyone's just like, wait, 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 we were about to spend all this money on this guy, but... Maybe not anymore. Let's see. Let's kick the tires on that Kevin Durant deal. All right. Here's the uh, prison football cello packs. What, what, what's the deal here? Are we... Uh, all card ship in this break as well. Good news. All card ship. Like Elijah Mitchell, Ezekiel Elliott Green. Elijah Mitchell uh, really helped out my fantasy football team last year. That goes to the NFC West. Fred. George Kittle. Rondale Moore, who might get a little more run now that Christian Kirk isn't there. DeAndre Hopkins will be out for the first bit of the season. Getting popped for PEDs. Cello pack, so there's no guaranteed autos or anything like that. There's Jamar Chase, rookie, AFC North, Mike, with the Offensive Rookie of the Year. And, oh, why was that flipped around? Is that a variation, maybe? I'd like to see Kadarius Tony make some noise this year. A lot of that will depend on. Let's leave that up just in case it's something especial. Uh, Kadarius, a lot of Kadarius Tony's production, of course, will depend on uh, Daniel Jones. Hope always springs eternal for, for, for football, right, in the summer. I mean, you're like, hey, Zach Wilson, apparently on a better diet, is looking good. Quote, I'm in the best shape of his life. You get a lot of that, right? That shape of his life. Everyone says that in the summer. I'd like to see him take it to the next level. You know, you'd like to see this guy essentially 
had a lost first year, right, with all the coaching drama. I'd like to see him, Trevor Lawrence, take it to the next level. AFC South, Mike Krasinski. Here are the red, white, and blue. These are exclusive to these uh, retail cello packs. It's going to be weird not seeing Big Ben playing every, uh, playing every week. Well, I want to see like the big QB names out of these red, white, and blues, right? There's Ramondre Stevenson, AFC East, Fred. Yeah, Dash is saying Herbert looks ripped now. Justin Herbert looks ripped now. See, he's in the best shape of his life. Those were the cello pack. A couple blasters now. It's one of my favorite sayings in sports. In the best shape of my life. This said it's these orange uh, velocity or laser. I have a couple different names for it, but that parallel is exclusive to this set. You've got a Rondale Moore relic for the NFC West. Fred with the NFC West. God, good point. Greg's. Back to basketball really quick. Greg's wondering, what's Ben Simmons thinking right now? So they finally, you know, moved some pieces to get Ben Simmons on board. You know, and now Kyrie could be traded. Kevin Durant could be traded. So I don't know. Maybe Ben Simmons is thinking, boy, I guess I'll just might have to take another year off. It's just too much for me. At this point, you would think Ben Simmons would get traded as well. I mean, if they if they move Kevin Durant and Kyrie, why why what's the, what's the point of keeping Ben Simmons around? At this point, you know, you would just treat Simmons as a reclamation project, send him to a team that small market doesn't have a lot of playoff aspirations. And he can just quietly just work his way back. In Brooklyn, I don't know if he's going to get that in Brooklyn. A big media market. Blaster boxes. We've got a first off line box coming up. Let's see what happens there. Here. Needed less space than I thought putting this break away. All right, first off the line, 2021 Prism Football. Good luck. I'm sure, I don't know what the exclusive parallels are, but I'm sure there's exclusives in here, different numbers, different parallels. Pretty much the same checklist though. Did everyone hear what uh, what the pace? I think it was the Pacers. 
what the Pacers uh, draft pick said today? Today? Recently? I like his confidence, though. Uh, according to the Indianapolis Star, uh, the Pacers' top draft pick, Benedict Mathurian, isn't short on confidence. The Arizona product spoke with the Washington Post ahead of the NBA draft last week and mentioned looking forward to matching up with LeBron James. <laughs> A lot of people says, say, say he's great. Mathurian said, I want to see how great he is. I don't think anybody is better than me. He's going to have to show me he's better than me. Ooh. And I took that personal. I took that personally. Jazz traded Royce O'Neal to the Nets for a first round pick. All right, so J Jazz kind of, you got to, you got to, you got to refresh to be fresh, Logan. I don't know. How do we feel about that move? How do, how do we feel about your new coach? All right. First off the line. Good luck, everybody. We've got a Kyle Pitts rookie card. He's pretty good. A weird cut right there. Looks like part of the other card right there. There's a Trevor Lawrence rookie card. Adrian Amos to 249. So T-Law going to the AFC South. That'll be for Mike G. And there's Adrian Amos, orange. And I think these are the exclusives, right? The Shimmers? James Robinson, five out of 10. Nice one for the AFC South, Mike G. Got Ty Law, Orange Wave, 31 out of 60. Anthony, what's up? How do I feel about Freddie on my Dodgers? Um, pretty good. I feel pretty good about Freddie Freeman on the Dodgers. As of, as of today, he's hitting 308. Nine homers, 47 RBIs, seven stolen bases, 90 hits, 50 runs scored. I think he's pretty much played every day. Hitting 367 in the last seven games. Great about Freddie Freeman. 54 out of 149, Kenneth Murray. Red Wave. And Red Shimmer, Sean Taylor. 7 out of 35. This is Corey Littleton as well to 199. Uh, Logan fell for the clickbait. And there's the autograph. They've done their job, Logan. There's Trey McKitty, 28 out of 35. Red Shimmer, Chargers, AFC West. That will be for Fred. And the autographs for the AFC East, Christian Barmore, Patriots. Thirteen out of seventy-five. AFC East. Fred. Yeah. The, I mean, hopefully, hopefully this is the that that sort of whatever feelings he had or whatever for between the Braves 
and the Dodgers and his agent and all that. Who knows what really is true out of all that sort of stuff, but that's where he most hurts 225, cracked ice. But hopefully at this point, maybe now we can start putting that stuff behind him and, and uh, I mean, his commitment to the Dodgers, look, he's hitting really well and his commitment to the Dodgers is not, is not questioned. You know, but I'm glad that he got his visit to Atlanta out of the way and we can all move on. Dodgers locker room is pretty strong though, so I don't think that's going to affect him too much. There's Jake Plummer to 99. That Mac Jones emergent insert will go to the AFC East. Fred, Jake Plummer, Broncos, AFC West. Uh, Fred, the second auto. Tyson Campbell, Green Shimmer. What is that number two? Is that a out of 99 situation or is this an out of five situation? This is a four out of five situation. Tyson Campbell, Green Shimmer, and Autograph. AFC South, Mike, out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice, nice to see a train whistle out of here. Tredavious White, purple ice to 225. <laughs> yeah, Greg's right, yeah. If they'd have to trade Anthony Davis, maybe LeBron, and picks for the next 20 years. But it's ultimately, it's just... It's just clickbait. Link LeBron or the Lakers to every team and every story, and that's that's going to generate a lot of uh, you know a lot of clicks and comments and attention on the market. There's Diami Brown for the NFC East. That will be for Andrew. All card ship except for this. What else do we have here? More fun parallels at the end. Here's Corey Davis for the AFC East, six out of thirty-five, red shimmer. And we got Russell Gage, sixty-nine out of one seventy-five for the NFC South. That'll be for Fred. And that, my friend, I think is going to be that. We got a silver rookie coming up here. And an orange rookie, Joe Tyron, Tryon, 37 out of 249. NFC South. That will be for Fred. And Trey McKitty is your Prism Silver for the Chargers. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.